hungry winter it will be without an extra bite to spare unless the secret is well kept and each one does his share well now we have visitors friends Sam Ludlow and one other from the village of Upper Minton. Hello, sir. Hello, little John. Hello there, Sam. Welcome to Sherwood. Thanks, Robin. This is Tom Barker, farmer and vintner, and butcher to the Count Olivia, too, when he needs one. Well, any friend of yours, Sam, is a friend of mine. Come and sit down, both of you, and have some benson stew. Thanks, Robin, but we didn't come along here to beg a meal. Well, what can we do for you? Well, I tell you, Master Robin, I'm a hard-working man. I've got my own horse and three acres of land. I'm in debt to no man, and come on times, I'm ready for him. Least I was until yesterday. All right, all right, Tom. It's the same for all of us in Upper Minton. Last autumn, we paid our usual taxes to the Count Olivier. The best of our harvest and the best of our stock. Two weeks back, the Count levied a new tax and took the half of what we had left. Yeah, we heard about that. Today comes a third levy. Master Whaling, the tax collector, comes along with armed guards and took the rest. Oh, yeah. He took away the rest. He took the food we had in our store cupboards and left us nothing but scraps. But your months have went to go through yet. Don't I know it. That's why we came to you, Robin. What's happened to this food? Where is it now? On its way to Count Olivia's castle. There'll be a famine in our village this winter. Unless you can help us, Robin. Little John, there went. You come with me. Tom, you and Sam follow on with the others, but keep in the background. Stay out of sight. Come on. Hospitality of Sherwood so reluctantly, Master Whalen. Robin Hood. Well done, lads. Derwent, bring Master Whalen's horse. Little John, have you got that rope? You're not going to hang you? <laughs> no, no, you probably deserve it. What are we going to do with them, Robin? Hold them to ransom? There's no point in that. Can't we only replace him with another one, just as greedy? Here's the horse, Robin. Ah, good, Derwent. Here you are. He's all yours. Well, no, about all we can do is send him back to the Count, without the taxes he came to collect, of course. Derwent, you and Ned are in charge of returning Whalen and his men. See them to the edge of Sherwood. On my compliments to Count Olivier, and my apologies for depriving him of his illegal taxes. You'll pay for this, Robin Hood. Ah, my salt pork, my newly killed sheep, my geese, a pair of capons. Thanks, Robin. If there's anything we can do for you any time, you've just to say the word. A bag of grain, sack of mangle. Hey, there should be two. I had two sacks of mangles. One of those missing. Well, I wouldn't worry about a sack of mangles. If that's all you've lost, you're a lucky man. Ah, it's all right. There it is. What did you say? Where's your manners, Tom Barker, after what Robin's done for us all? Oh, yes, of course. Well, thank you. You're a brave man, Robin. I shan't forget what you've done for me. Not only for you, Tom. Right, now we'll take these carts down to the village and hand this food out to its rightful owners. Well, that's just what we won't do. Uh, what do you mean? Count Olivia's not going to take this lying down. If this food goes back to Upper Minton, Whalen will be there again tomorrow with a double escort this time. The next time he gets his hands on this food, you can say goodbye to it forever. And then what can we do? Go back to Upper Minton. Quentin will go with you. Collect the villagers and take them to the cave near Gallows Hill Road. Cave? I don't know any cave. Quentin will guide you there. But what about my food? Well, our food. It'll I'm... be waiting for you at the cave. 
A little John, let's get these Wait cars moving. Minute. I'm not Don't sure I like this. Don't be a fool, Tom. We've no choice. It's all very well for you, Sam Ludlow, but there's more of my food there than anyone else. Your right? food? What do you mean, your food? There's nothing in there that's either yours or mine. Since Whaling took it all in taxes. But look here, I don't be bothered. you, Tom. I don't know what Robin's up to any more than you do. But all I can say is that whatever it is, it's bound to be better than anything you or I can think of. I'll see you outside the cave, Robin, as all soon right, as I get Sam. all the men together. Come on, little John. of it? Aye, everything's safe inside now. Village is all here? Yes, Robin's talking to him now. Good. Listen, everyone. Now, you all know why you're here. Yesterday, Waylon stole this food from you. Today, I stole it from Waylon. Now, I give it back to the village. If you all share it equally among yourselves, it should see you through the rest of the winter. Is that agreed? Agreed. agreed. No, it isn't. My share of that food was twice as much as anyone else's. Tom, I know that's true, but... Well, I'm not asking favors. All I want is my own back. That's all. No more, no less. Tom, if each of you claims his own and takes it back to the village, tomorrow or the next day, Master Whalen will come around and seize it all again, and that way none of you will have anything. But if that's the way you want it... Wait, Robin. Don't listen to Tom. All the rest of us agree with you. That food should stay in here out of Wayland's reach. There's enough food there to tide you over if you share it fairly. I never expected to see this food again. Oh, I don't mind sharing it. Make Sam here your storekeeper. You all trust him. Sam will allot you shares so much for each family for each day. You come and draw it one by one as he tells you. Well, why can't we each draw enough for a week at a time? Whalen will be looking for this food. If any one of you tries to carry more than he can conceal about him, he'll be putting the whole scheme in danger. Aye, that's true. Well, I'm for the plan. So am I. Aye, aye, aye. It won't work unless you're all agreed. Shall we put it to the vote? All those in favor, raise their hand. rather see all your food going to the Count's kitchen, eh? Of course I wouldn't. I'm as much against the Count as any man, but 